Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the Robert Downey Jr. situation. He is back in the MCU, but not as who we would expect. So we're going to take time and explain how this could actually work and what it could potentially mean for the future of the MCU. Let's jump right into it. All right, so by now you have probably heard the news, and my guess is you have. Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the MCU, but not as Iron Man. No, instead he is playing Doctor Doom. Now, this is where it gets a bit more complicated because is he playing Tony Stark? who became Dr. Doom, this is the narrative I see a lot of people running with, that he is going to be playing a variant of Tony Stark that ultimately became Dr. Doom. However, I actually think the opposite. We have only ever seen one Tony Stark in one universe. If you really stop and think about it, we have never seen him outside of the rest of the MCU universes. Just that one. And the reason I think this is, is because... That look, that person in all the rest of the universes is probably Victor Von Doom. Now, I know, I know, Iron Man has become somewhat of one of the icons in the MCU. And to have Tony Stark return as a different character, how do they even make this plausible? Well, to do this, to actually understand why I say that I think this is the case, we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the MCU. Iron Man came out and it was a massive hit. They decided they were going to be doing some Avengers movies and they put up a slate of movies. And these movies took us through five years essentially. It took us through the next three or four years at a time. And they said this is going to be phase one. And then we have phase two. And then we have phase three. They already knew that they were going to have this many events. This many phases of the movie. Now... That's the thing. This many phases of this universe. So essentially what happens is you're looking at 15 plus years of this thing already. You're looking at 15 years at least of the MCU so far, right? So that means that when Robert Downey Jr. started, he was a certain age. That certain age was okay to play Iron Man. Now, there are some people that could play Iron Man in the future. We'll get into that in just a minute. But why is he coming back as Dr. Doom? Well, he is aged into the role of Dr. Doom. And with him aging into the role of Dr. Doom, that makes a lot more sense than to see him trying to continue to play Iron Man. We are going to have to see some of these actors be recast. That's just the way it's going to have to be. If this movie franchise, if this movie universe is supposed to continue on, that's why we needed the multiverse. That's why we needed all this stuff to happen. Because ultimately what we needed was to be able to recast these actors anytime we want. And if you know about the comics, they have had many variants of a lot of the superheroes. It's not like there was ever just one. And the funny thing is if you want to look at the artwork of different comics, they've been kind of changing their looks ever so slightly. So, you know, yeah, they sort of do look a little different from time to time than we're used to, depending upon the artist that's drawing them. So when you're doing an MCU movie and trying to keep it going, trying to keep this whole franchise moving forward, of course, we're going to have to have some cast changes. And Robert Downey Jr. is an icon within the MCU. So bringing him in as as another character is something that I think they could do easily. And I know the narrative right now is that he is going to be playing Tony Stark, but I actually really don't 
think that's the case. I think it would be fun to see someone else step into the role of Tony Stark, someone slightly younger than Robert Downey Jr., maybe even as old as Robert Downey was when he did the first Iron Man movie. So, if they recast, there are a number of people that would fit. Now, unfortunately, there are two names that I can name right now that a, that a number of people really would have loved to have seen come into the MCU as these characters. Number one, I've heard over and over again about how great it would be if Tom Cruise was Iron Man. In fact, if you remember the Doctor Strange multiverse movie, that was kind of the thing. They were trying to make this happen. People were talking about Tom Cruise playing a version of Iron Man, and that's something that could still happen. Now that the MCU is big, and now that Tom Cruise is kind of getting done with his Mission Impossible movies, and he's doing some other movies for his production company, he could take a break. He could come in and do the Marvel Cinematic Universe and be Iron Man. The other possibility here, of course, is Keanu Reeves. Now, I know that a lot of people think of Keanu Reeves and they think, oh, wow, you know, he's going to really have to play, oh, Ghost Rider. And I don't think that's the case. I've never seen him as Ghost Rider, but I'm going to tell you what, if they announce tomorrow that he is our new Tony Stark, I wouldn't be too sad. But that's the thing about this is I don't think that this is a mistake. I don't think that this is something that we as fans have to really be worried about. I actually think that what they're doing is kind of genius because they are making it so that the MCU can continue to move forward. And as the actors grow out of their roles, it's quite possible they could return in roles that would suit their age slightly better, handing it off to younger actors or actors who haven't had that level of superhero movies to their name yet. Like, take Captain America, for example. We all know that Falcon right now is your Captain America, and that's only going to go so far. They are eventually going to go back to Steve Rogers. However, will it be the same Steve Rogers? Will we get to see that actor step back into the role? I don't think we will, for a number of reasons. He's already kind of said that he doesn't want to come back to that role right now. Now, potentially he could, and in fact, that's the thing. I have heard that they are going to return in a future movie as villains. They are going to appear in the movie as evil versions of these characters. And that's kind of where this whole Iron Man becomes Doctor Doom thing comes from, is that particular thing that they were going to have an evil version of the Avengers appear in a later movie. Now, what movie is that? That's going to probably be Secret Wars. And the thing about Secret Wars is that is coming up sooner than you think. That's right. But the next movie was supposed to be Kane Dynasty. And that is no longer the case. Kane Dynasty is gone. The new name of the new Avengers movie coming out is Doomsday. Doctor Doom is going to be your primary villain in that, which is another reason I don't think this is a variant of Tony Stark. I think that this is going to be an actual Doctor Doom, and that fits because now you have, like I said, these actors are able to come back in roles that fit them for their age, but also they can bow out. And we can get people that are younger coming in as the actors we see. Because not only is Doomsday coming out in May of 26. So Avengers Doomsday, May 2026. But the following year you get Avengers Secret Wars coming out May 2027. And 
that's good because Mark Ruffalo's getting a little bit older. You know, you do have actors that are getting a little bit older that possibly can't maintain these roles. So having them come in and do one final hurrah and then kind of seeing where we go is a good thing. And they have the Russo brothers back to direct this movie. And that's great because now we have something going forward where we are going to get to see Reed Richards be the older of the superheroes in that universe because he has always been uh, maybe a couple years older than the rest of the people. And that's not a bad thing. Now, we get to see all of this and it really does excite me that this universe will be able to extend itself through this type of thing. Uh, that's what I think is going to go down here. That's why I say to kind of wait and see who he's playing, whether it is a variant of Tony Stark or it is, in fact, Doctor Doom himself. And that's that. Because if he is playing a version of Tony Stark that became Doctor Doom, this is not out of the realm of possibility. It's just something I don't really see them doing. If they did it, I would not be too sad. I wouldn't cry my eyes out because they did it. I would think that it would be something cool that is only temporary. And then we get to see a new Doctor Doom come in at a later time. Although if you're making him the main villain of a movie, then I tend to think that this is the real deal. And that's why I say I think he's coming back playing Victor Von Doom and not Tony Stark because I think them making this the main villain of the movie has got to tell you something. Plus, they did say they were not going to undo Tony Stark's sacrifice. And if you put him in as Tony Stark, a bad guy, then you've undone his sacrifice. But if you recast the role of Tony Stark, then I don't feel as though you've done that. That's what I think about all that. But this is where I'm going to leave it off to you guys. What do you think about the situation? Do you think he's coming back as a variant of Tony Stark? Do you think he is going to be playing Victor Von Doom? Do you think that this is a good thing? As always, we want to hear from you guys. Make sure you leave us a comment in the comment box below and let us know what you think. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. They're definitely going to want to be a part of this conversation. Then make sure you hit that like button. It's free. It helps the channel. And we really do appreciate it. Miko says we need more subscribers. And you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there. So you don't miss a single video we do. Then friends at the end of the day. I know it. You know it. And Miko knows it. Fandom is family.